Hello everyone! Today I got an amazing drop. This is the one I couldn't ask for something better. I just couldn't ask for something better. This is by far the best armor in the game in my opinion. Uh, super tanky and with the perfect perks. This one has a full metal armor. There, so this is a full metal armor which has plus 30% uh, melee damage, 30% chance to negate hits, uh, 35% damage reduction, this is a debuff but we don't care and it has coward dice, deflect and cooldown now cooldown is necessary, I always wanted to have kind of faster cooldowns and it was kind of annoying and now I have it deflect is necessary, why? because coward dice relies on you having full health and usually we don't have any problem with melee range the main problem is uh, usually bows, even one that hits you uh, it's just gonna prevent you from actually using coward dice. So you want the option to deflect. So you won't get hit as much from archers and therefore coward dice will stay active. Of course, uh, you can in some cases you can get lots of damage from archers and this actually prevent it in, to some degree because you have 60% chance to trigger this one. So uh, the, um, uh, the arrow will deflect it toward the enemy. Another great thing about deflect is that of course when enemies at the outer age uh, you know the outer circle because of course uh, archers don't attack you from melee range when they uh, hit you and the arrow is deflected it hits them so they lose health so they're actually wounded and of course wounded synergize well with well cowardice so i have the growing stuff that has built in cowardice so actually by the time i get to the those that actually shot me with the arrow and they are hit they're wounded one the first shot will actually deal that extra bonus damage which is just crazy all right so let's see how it plays uh i'm playing right now lower temple and uh this should be really nice again uh usually i don't play with uh leeching or radiance but i decided to try it out with this new armor to see you know the synergy how well it works so let's do it Again, you can see if Kawada is active, by the way, but just looking here, I actually have Kawada active all the time. I'm deflecting. Now some, something hits me. I, I hit. I heal. So Kawada is expected to be active uh, most of the time. Alright, then this one. And we heal very, very fast. We continuously almost co full all the time. Nice. And that plus 40% damage is just crazy, of course. So again, look at the left side of the skin. You see Kaudas is active almost all the time. With so much healing capability here. Now we have AoE on the ground. But I'm gonna heal very quickly. You see on the left, Kaudas is active great working great it's not that without without actually having a leeching you can achieve this you can but you're gonna have it less time so the thing is that uh, instead of waiting for the uh, for those souls actually to reach you uh, you see it takes time I'm already have coward dice you see that's the advantage actually having leeching and of course having both is amazing as well because most of the time you're gonna be full health and also the cooldown of this armor ensures that I'm gonna have mushroom again when I need it 
instead of just waiting. And you can see this most of the time we are in full health. Look here, Cabo Dice is active. So look at this one, I'm gonna give you an example. You see this one got hit and got committed and I didn't lose my Cabo Dice because I deflected the, the arrow. So it's like almost having Cabo Dice active uh, continuously. And if I lose it, because I get health back quickly due to the leeching, Cowardice is active almost immediately after the engagement. So again, the first impressions are amazing. And why is that? Because you're so tanky and also so powerful. And of course, using this uh, weapon is so satisfying, you feel like a ninja. I mean, I was using uh, the battle axe before that. And... Uh, not the battle axe, I mean the cursed axe. But the thing is, it's not satisfying as this weapon. I don't even uh, care about AoE, anything. I have to get hits, everything just to keep me alive. Lots of health because this is a high power one. I have everything ready, my cooldowns are ready. My, uh, sorry, my abilities are ready when I need them. Just feels great. So this is it for this video. If any questions, suggestions, tips, trying out other combinations for melee builds, interesting stuff. Uh, tell me what you think, tell me what you think of the metal armor. Uh, in my opinion, this is the most tankiest, the most invincible uh, armor in the game. Makes you just feel like a god. Uh, but of course, there are other ones to play with and many exotic builds, which I'm of course going to try. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get notified when I release new Minecraft Dungeons videos. We really cool builds and new items and recommendations, of course. So again, see you on the next video. Waiting for your comments. Bye-bye. Cheers.